What's up, everybody? Another day at Old Berg. We'll start down at the boot area. Old Berg's own personal pond, and then we will move to our bream spot. See if we can't make a little silver today, catch some cool fish. Hoping to try a couple of uh, carp spots on my main account later. See how that works out. Might be able to get a couple of videos on some carp spots, some carp spots later on. I'm kind of obsessed with carp fishing right now, so mostly all I'm doing on my main account is trying to find good spots for carp. Uh, let's go over to. I feel like our most success has probably been over here. Love to hit a couple tench in this rain. All right, on our big boy, let's go with, uh, I guess just Crucian Gibble. 9.7, let's go with a carp hook and potatoes. And let's back this down to a nine clip. Somebody asked, what is in my uh, fake tench mix? I don't know if you're watching this right now, but if you are, it's ground crackers, corn, maggots, melted cheese, and vanilla. Size eight, we'll go to six, and uh, maggots. Six is way too big. Let's go to 10 and maggots. Plenty of trophy tench have been caught in this game on size 10 or smaller hooks. And let's see what we have on here. Something interesting on the potatoes. Oh, did it jump off? That's not really cool. I guess I should have waited. I guess I should have waited. It was weird because I felt the weight of the fish on there for a minute, but. All right, and this one we'll do in with cottage cheese dough because I just kind of want to see what happens. Oh, we need to clip that sucker, don't we? Uh, we'll go nine. Okay. Got my coffee. Mondays are weird for me, so I have to wake up twice on Mondays. Waking up once is about all I like to do, so when I have to wake up twice, it's not good, but um, we'll pull through, you know. Come on, maggots. Catch us something good. Get a little bigger. That's gonna be one of those gibble potatoes. No, tiny common carp, okay. All right, first fish on cottage cheese. It wasn't the fastest bite rate, but uh, I'll see what it is first. 
We also have a pretty big hook on there. To distract the small little things. So Tinch are enjoying cottage cheese these days. You know, a couple weeks ago we saw cottage cheese along with Honeydew, I believe, dominating the weekly charts for Tinch. And sure enough, it looks like cottage cheese is still working. What did we say it was? Crackers, corn, maggots, melted cheese, vanilla. I'm not saying that's good though. It's just something we just tried. Crackers, corn, melted cheese. There was something else. Probably maggots. Maggots, vanilla. There she is. See if we can stop it in its track before it actually gets anywhere. Oh, we almost had it. And we got it. Grass carp. Oh, the old grass carp. Interesting. I wonder if cottage cheese actually would target just tinch better. We are catching the grass carp right now. better or for worse. Chinese sleeper on cottage cheese dough? What is happening to this world? That is a small common carp. We could definitely use a little larger carp hook. 
but I'd like to get the mono line. Uh, I mean, mono leader would get to give us a little bit more strength out of that saber before we um, before we go nuts. So uh, what do we think? Maybe another hour here. Let me go get make sure we're nice and set up for Bream. And hope that the spot is still good. See, I think some somewhat that's a hook size issue. We're catching those little common carp on this eight carp hook. Or six carp hook. What is it? It might be an eight. It's an eight. All right. Cottage cheese again comes through with a gibble carp. Cottage cheese is actually catching about everything here. From tench to Chinese sleepers to uh, gibble carp and roach, I think. Maybe it didn't catch a roach. Maybe we just caught one roach. The roach might have been on maggots. I think it was. All right, it's about time. Just trying to give it one more fish. This is like that slow time of day, but. All right, we want to keep in line. We want to go to fake bream. Regular eight hook garlic dough. We're good. Looks like you might get one more fish on cottage cheese. All right, in line, fake bream, eight hook, garlic dough. And we need to change the clip to 15. Clip to 15.
and here we are. That was a long run. I'm virtually tired. That's a short cast. I'm going to go to clip 16 on this one, by the way. I actually did that last session, last uh, video. Switch that middle rod to clip 16 just to kind of see. All right, this one we still have on Paternoster, which technically we still have one more point in Paternoster than we do inline. So for that and for variety, and that is what we're doing. There's a little more data on weeklies by now. Let's go ahead and look at uh, weeklies for a minute here while the, before the bream fishing really gets started. Uh, true confession, I actually had a trophy here last night. I, I fished this bream spot a little bit after finishing the recording. And of course, I wasn't recording when this came out. Which is always frustrating when that happens when I'm not recording. But it's uh, the way it is. Alright. Somebody caught a really big bream at Seversky. That is interesting. What I really wanted to check is the whites. Yeah, it's all garlic dough right now. Again, why I think that like putting a size... 10 hook which will still catch you bream but also kind of dials in on the white bream is not the worst idea here lots of trophies coming out on bream and white bream sweet dough is still working a little bit but i think overall things are moving to move into garlic dough for the white bream right now wow an early marker look at that not just a marker an early one kilo plus i just have this feeling that overall a 10 hook is going to just synchronize with white bream slightly better. Even though that trophy I caught was on an 8. And I don't have any fake white bream mix left, do I? No, okay. But a 10 is still a perfectly good size for bream. You'll see on this third rod, we're going to still catch really nice bream on that all night long. As long as the spot hasn't changed or something.
There we go. Size 10 hook coming through again. Another nice bream out of the bream hole. Still technically, goodness, two and a half hours until actual bream time. Wow. Y'all, I think there's one of those sick orders. We'll have to keep tabs of that. I think they have to be... Do they have to be three kilo? It's one of those like 80 silver for three fish, but they all have to be pretty big bream. But... Get those grass carp out of here. We've already got two over a kilo. And it's still early. I might have to say, if on this spot, bream time starts at 20. Not at 22. We might have to make that official. bet we have at least one 300 gram white bream maybe two of them they don't come out a ton for me but one or two a night at least Oh, we're number one on the weeklies. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I didn't really even think about that. But okay. That's cool. Oh, there's number one. Number one pancake is in.
That's a gibble. Get out of here, gibble. serious over there. There's number two. Two pancakes already. bream don't become pancakes till they hit 300 grams just FYI What is going on with this line? Something was nibble, 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 nibble. Just a little bream. Please be a white bream. <laughs> All right, Lacerdi, you can do it. Just hang in there. Hang in there, Lacerdi. You got it. There you go. I knew you could do it. It's a blue tag white bream. Just kidding. Tench are not as predictable on feeding times. They tend to be in the mornings and they tend to be in the evening. They don't tend to be strong all night overnight. But some tench spots are really strong 
and you can get tench off and on even during the hottest part of the day it just depends they're not quite as predictable or reliable as something like bream in my experience at least and they tend to be streaky yeah i knew i was going to screw that bite up i knew it was early i still did it anyway same with this one i shouldn't even be picking it up yet I'm going to recast this. Let's don't waste time with it sitting in the middle of the river like that. And right now, Tench seem to be biting on Nightcrawler's honey dough. Cottage cheese dough and maggots at Old Berg. Maybe some other stuff too, but those are the ones I've noticed. But just check the weeklies because it's a little different. And it could be a little different at Bear, for example, than it is at, uh, at Old Berg. No thank you on the common roach during my breen time. We got a lot of people fishing this bream spot right now. I think somebody's gonna catch a trophy. In chat, we'll see, but there's a lot of us here, I think. change ground bait after this.
There's another white pancake. I wonder if I messed up on... Uh, no, I think I had a separate stack on that one, didn't I? I think we're good. I do need to check them both, though, once they come in. Oh, that's a big broom, bream. A boom bream. 3.7. Very close. Seven grams off. Corner of my eye. I was reading chat out of the corner of my eye. I thought that was a white bream. Thought we were catching a nice white bream there. Lacerti versus Bream part two.
I have no sense of how we're doing. It doesn't feel as strong, but I could be wrong. 611 over a kilo and it's 3.30 in the morning. Uh, I guess that's about right. About on par with how it's been doing. Maybe slightly slower than some nights, but pretty good. If it's coincidence but we seem to be getting our biggest fish on this rig and this is the one that has smaller leader but it's also the one that's set up for pattern oster instead of inline but you know everything also just feels bigger on it because it's smaller smaller size This is, this is like getting to be the time. If somebody's going to have a trophy, it's going to have to be soon. There's a nice one. There's a nice inline bream. Oh, another 3.7 bream, very close. Somebody have a trophy and I just missed it? Goodness, there were several coming out 3.7. I wonder if those folks have a uh, regular Bream mix unlocked. It's one thing I haven't done. Usually I come and... Um, Usually I come and try these spots at least once or twice with my main account. Pull out a couple trophies with uh, real bream mix and bonus and rods and everything just to kind of see the difference. But by the way, this is a nice fish. This is on 7.7 .7 line. Come on, Adriatica. You can do it. I'd like to stop that fish at this point. Thank you. Do our little uh, dip and nod here.
Well, it looks like we might be the ones catching the trophy. Unless it pops off here. Right at the end. Boom! It's a nice trophy too. 4.7. Very nice. And that was on our... in line I knew a trophy was coming a little earlier than I expected but this is about the time you just see a lot of rooster crowing in the background bream trophies but up to about 7 a.m. sometimes after that but Feel like it's a lot till about seven. So now we've got the uh, weekly bream and a weekly white bream. We have uh, put our mark on the leaderboard this week. Hook size, ha hook size have a impact like a major difference it's it's tough to say I think it has an impact I think it makes a difference it's all numbers right you're just trying to like slide the numbers in your favor as much as you can and then see what the random number generator p spits out for you whoa but uh, certainly people fish for bream on large one hooks and still do fine. Still catch trophies sometimes. I mean, I just, I don't think that's ideal, but it works. It works. People also like, you know, last leveling series, we caught that weekly trophy bream on size 22 hooks. We were literally trying to catch white bream and a trophy regular bream came in. So, I think hook size matters, but it's not. You're still going to catch fish no matter what you do. You're just trying to slide the numbers in your direction. Now do we hold on to this beauty for a little while to see if a trophy order pops up? That's the question. Man, this Adriatica line's killing it right now. Another really nice one here. We're going to 
call this a fishing trip here at about 8 a.m. We got the trophy. Let's don't push it. We've actually caught a lot of fish. 83 fish. All right. So 6, 12. Yeah, I mean, if we get one more over a kilo, we're up to 18, which is six more than what I usually consider a decent bream spot. This spot is spoiling me, though. I'm not sure that I'm ever going to have the exact same definition of what's a good bream spot. Another nice one. Yeah, I mean, I think we could have kept going here till 10 or 11 and still had a few decent ones, but such a good spot right now. lost in the woods but we found it we're gonna hit 18 next episode fill that order with a trophy necessarily seven over 300 but there's only 10 hours left so that's not gonna happen all right so
191 silver, 46 for that trophy. So if we take that off, still 145 silver. I may hold on to this fish at least for a couple hours. If I can just remember to log in and check and not just let it waste. I hate to miss 46 silver, but I think we'll hold on to it for a little while. Okay, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.